just All right, coming at you with another Real Talk. Uh, it's yours truly, Troy, Trent, and Kenneth, and we got XR, XR. again. With and you. we got Ashley. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to talk about horror host. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get to... Uh, <laughs> introducing people out of order and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped the kid. He just skipped Ashley. People were like, these niggas are sexy. <laughs> no, this is the first time they had a chick on their show, and they skipped her. <laughs> Shit. No, it's okay. He just forgot my name for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's still like <laughs> that's just. We're gonna. I wanted to talk about in this particular video about Phil because we kind of talked about it uh, yesterday, and I just first I just wanted. Throw at anybody here, um, if like, like if film is big, like if you guys really like film, like if you want, if you want. just in like our lives. Yeah, just in your lives in general. Do you guys watch film uh, regularly, or is it like a thing you guys do? Not really, not for me. Not yet. <laughs> so I know Kid does. We got one not for me. <laughs> yeah. No Kid is, is a film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't, do. I don't really watch movies like that. I just stick to like short little videos. You know? So short films count? Short, short films, I, I can do short films, just like, it has to be a really good movie for me to sit through it for like an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. And I, I like film, and you're a film buff, so I love film. I love, because like, when we talked about Tyler Crater the other day, yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was just, because I like storytelling, and like the whole story structure, and I like to put together. So, when a good film can do that, because I feel like a film, that's why I wanted to mention, I feel like a film encompasses like everything about art and you know, a lot of things. Like the visuals, music, music, you know, storytelling, the, yeah, storytelling the writing, the structure, the plot. Um, and, you know, a lot of people, Kenneth, Trent, and I, we watch films, uh, we look at films differently than most people do. Right. So, uh, like super analytical, like. I, I, yeah, yeah, it's almost annoying, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost annoying. Like, watch them like normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, super analytical. Uh, and we just like to take apart certain things. You know? We just uh, look at things differently. Yeah. But most people don't. And, well, you know, which one's bigger, film or music? We choose which, which one we'd rather have. Right. Music or film. Right. Like, if you had to. And I forgot what this was. Yeah, it's he a said hard you're choosing yeah. film. Oh, you're choosing film. I'm, I'm quite, quite a big film, too, though. Really? 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 It's like you can see it, you can hear it, it's all, it encompasses all like, really? senses, you know? even if the if, Even if the film doesn't have background music, you'd be okay no, with the film it, music. It. No, no, but like, like even if you don't like like movies like that, like you, like you said like, a few minutes ago, like, you don't like movies like that, but you I mean like, a lot of music in movies is vicious, but like there's no music in the movie, I don't know. Yeah. So that's why I just so get the music all by itself. So, yeah. so we're saying choose music or film, meaning the one doesn't oh, exist. Oh, yeah. so uh, no music would exist. Yeah, it's music. Just, that's what, that's yeah. why I chose okay, music. Okay, yeah, I'm music. I'm choosing music because I'm a visual person. You right. think I would choose film, but the thing is, the reason why I choose music is because music it, it inspires what I do visually. Word. Film doesn't. I watch films yeah. to give me ideas of what I should do visually, but guess what? When I see that, I listen to music to help me with right, that. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Yeah. So yeah. I would choose music, but obviously I love film, I love visuals. It's just. And when I hear shit, I'd be thinking of like what it looks like. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was the torn because like music, you can, there's so much music out there. Right. So many different sounds. Sound, 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 sound. Yeah, and like uh, you can envision like you don't. You know, anything you want to see. What? Bro, what are you talking that about, man? So, that sounds weird, but. Well, I'm the only one who didn't take a movie. Probably, yeah. So, you, you would watch a silent movie? Yeah. Well, what if, it, what, what if it wasn't silent? Like, what if it was, like, just like a regular movie? Like, regular music? Like, just which one's more, like, impactful? Maybe? Or, like, just, like, more important? Yeah, because music adds to the aesthetic, I think, but I think what's going on in the movie, I can completely disregard the music in the background of a horror film and like, look at what's going on, but the music in a horror film adds suspense, you know? Yeah. And that's why music is so important to that genre, but I can still watch a horror film. Yeah, I can't disregard music in a film. I feel like that's so big. A sport, a like, movie, is so important to find. Like, you can have a great film. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a
have a great film but still have a horrible score, but I feel like a great score will make that film even better. But they great. don't think of that. Huh? Because it's a they don't think of, yeah. They don't think about it like off the top, but like when they're watching the movie and hear the music, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's some dope like music. You yeah. Know? yeah. Because like for me, like I don't watch Titanic for that. For sure. Well, it's kind of like editing. Like you don't notice it unless it's bad. Yeah. 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 For sure. Cause if it is bad, you look. Wait, it's something off about it. Yeah. You know, like Star Wars can be watched with no background music. So are you sure about that? Well, no, that, that's not music. That that's just the. You mean like the, the the but you Star Wars like score? Like when like, Vader comes up, his iconic yeah, music, the March of the Imperial Hero March song, all yeah, that. Yeah, like you don't need that, but like, people you. hear it and they know Vader. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I but it's like you would still watch Star Wars. See, happen. that's that's the type of effect it has on. That's why we about adding the aesthetic yeah. of the movie. You know, it adds that you know that extra like uh, oof, if you will. Hold on. Like, <laughs> like I like that Get Out didn't have too much. Oh no, they did that purposely. Like that's what I like. They yeah, did they purposely? I was that's fair. So well, see, bring that I, I think most people be confused with when you put music in a film to when you don't have music. In but that's hard so when you have to. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, it takes cool. like it takes. But, but I think it's like if you can put music or, or score or any sound in a, in a well, not just sound effects, but any music pop, uh, in, a, in a specific a, in a specific right? part, yeah, moment of, of the film. I think uh, if you put it in the wrong place, yeah, kind of throw like shit set in. You can notice what's bad. Yeah, because if you put it in the wrong place, like why? You won't really ask yourself in that moment, but you, the more you watch, you'll think like, oh, it's kind of weird how the sound came. Yeah, but Get Out did have daily, you know, background. Hey, I didn't even see that movie. I feel like it was too high. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Maybe that first one right now. So, so this man came over and said he didn't see, uh, Black Star, no, you saw Black Star, right? He said he didn't see Neon Demon, he hasn't seen, uh, what? Have you ever seen any of those Quentin Tarantino movies either? I've seen Kill Bill. What was the movie he said he didn't watch? He, we said it was this movie. Is that the one with the stout people? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, there was, there were two movies that you said we were gonna watch. How you gonna come over here and say you ever seen it? You gonna put this on the footage right now? Come on, man. I just feel like when people put so much attention to something, like, well, that was a good movie. It was a good movie, though. Like, you deserve everything you deserve. Yeah, yeah, it was. Because I'm like the same way, but. Man, that shit is crazy. Like, the homeboy came up to me at Disneyland and said, hey, get out with the phone. And I was just like, what? He said, get out. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, come on, bro. And he walked away with his girl. It was some Middle Eastern guy and his, and his, his blonde girlfriend. Yeah. And they were interracial. And so he came up to me with the phone because I was with my girlfriend. She has red hair. Yeah. And he was like, hey, get out. And I was like, what? He was like, get out. And I was like, what are you talking I was like, oh, man, they just busted up. They walked away. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> so, yeah, I get it. I get out, like, it, it typed because if I hadn't seen the movie, right. how, like, I'd like, well, be like, what are you talking about? Right. So, he assumed that I've seen the movie since, like, but yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm not going to go see a movie that everybody's like, oh, I'm going to go to work. But unless I know what it's about, it's different from, like, video games. So, if I know about it, then I'm going to get it, whether it's hype or not. Like, yeah. I'm not going to, like, not buy a Mario Kart game because it's hype. Yeah. And everybody plays hey, that look, shit. Yeah. I'm mad, honest though. I'm tired of seeing like racial oriented movies. That's why I thought when I was like, oh, I'm like, damn. Oh, that's why. A lot of people made yeah. that uh, yeah. assumption that was about that. It wasn't even about, what? it was a, uh, it was an underlying meme about yeah. what the movie was. It's terrible. Yeah. 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 When we were talking about the other movies, we were talking about that. Like, that was the Atlanta version of the movie. Get out. Yeah, I agree. Like with the, the episode where they're talking about they're sitting at that table for that interview thing. Table board. Yeah. Like they remind you of that. Now like, has, have you have you guys seen the land? For sure. Yeah. No? Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> Damn. I told you I don't do movies like that. That's a TV show. TV? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. No, I don't watch a lot of TV either. There's specific shows that I really will watch. Like I, in sports, I'm not, I'm not watching TV. Either. Yeah. Hey, hold up. I don't watch, watch TV. For what? Because that shit's hard. Low key, because it's supposed to kind of be a secret. I mean, I haven't posted that. I mean, it's a secret. I don't want to 
It just looks cool though. <laughs> I feel you, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. If you know, we should probably. Uh, it's up to you, I feel the same. I was just asking you. I was gonna ask about Ashley the question. Uh, how, um, I know how it is collaborating artist wise. Is it hard to uh, collaborate with another photographer? Is that a thing? Um, no, it's not hard to collaborate with another photographer. Like, sometimes, I mean, I worked with this one photographer and it was like we both wanted to like take pictures and we went to the beach and we both, um, like just took pictures at the same spot and you know like obviously we can get like different images because we have like different perspectives and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, when you're working with someone like that just like casually like um, like comparing images stuff like that yeah. it works but it's you can it's not like we're like dependent on each other like it's not like a different it's not like a movie where it's like you have like the whole crew. Oh, okay, I see. So it, it, it's like you don't have to worry so much about meshing with. Exactly. What they, that's cool because. So it's like I have my own camera, you have your own camera, like my art's my art, your art's your art. That's cool if you bring it together afterwards. Yeah. Well, art is kind of like you collab and it depends on what goal you want. Some, yeah. Sometimes, like I watched, you know, Ink Master sort of competitions when you collab with another artist, sometimes they say, oh, you gotta make it look seamless like it was one artist. Or you match your styles, you know, make styles. And sometimes people don't like that. Like, it looks like it's done by two yeah. different people. But photography is totally, it's, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, I look at somebody's picture, I'm like, how did you get that, like, that, yeah. that frame of those palm trees? Like, it, you saw that in a whole 360 leg, yeah. so you got that one, one, two, three, four, five. Like, you got, you got it all That's there. The right. yeah. It is, I did. And, yeah. and photography really is an art. People yeah. think you're just taking pictures. Like, you do, you try this shit. Well, I mean, even within photography, that's why Revenant is probably and Birdman. the greatest. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking Revenant over Birdman. Yo, Yo, but it's the same, dude. I know so, why you're taking it over, though. I know why. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, because more, you see, like, more, like, natural nature. But I think, I was going to say that earlier, but I think that's the more favorite part about him in the same photography. It's done well. It just it doesn't work for me. Yeah, because I mean, that, that obviously is like, because before you're a cinematographer, I mean, you gotta be a good photographer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta yeah. have the composition. Oh, yeah, the, the, the rule of thirds, I think, you know what I'm saying? That's why I like directors. That's what I'm totally good. Because it's like, cause you need to be, <laughs> it's like you need to know what is going on at all times in your movie. Yeah. If you don't know anything about cinematography, it's like, your movie's gonna be trash. <laughs> Even with a great cinematographer, trash. because like you, didn't, you have to pick what you want in the movie. Yeah, because they're going to have different things. But then you have to make sure that the cinematography thing is good too. So y'all both got to be on your shit. True. That's why most of these movies aren't fucking good. Because I gave Trent my camera and said, go through like these 10 videos and pictures. You can tell which ones you did. Like. Oh, yeah, because there's something we were talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I can believe that because if I. Familiar with you know your style, your style. I'll probably be able to pick out which one is which. Like when, like when you, 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 you can watch five seconds of any movie you've done. And you yeah, can tell. Yeah. that's his. But yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of incredible because when you really develop a technique or a style, like and you've mastered your you know your craft that well, people are gonna recognize it what you do. You know, you might be confused with somebody else. I think that's the main thing. I. Like you can get inspired by people, but then the but like, thing is to, But some people it's obvious though. Tarantino is a bunch of blood, a bunch of cuss words. And then who's no. the dude with the explosions? Like Transformers? Oh, no, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Yeah, so like some people have like a certain style. But I mean like, I mean even like I can cut out the scene that doesn't even have that with Tarantino. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll still know from the dialogue, from the exchange. Yeah, it's like it's a certain, palace. like when you're watching like a mob movie. Mm -hmm. That's Martin Scorsese. When you're watching, most of the most of the time, like he's big on like all the Christopher Nolan, for me, it's like how he uses his camera. I don't know how to explain that shit. Like, fuck with your head, too. It's right, like, so yeah, like I can tell there's a Christopher Nolan movie. Sure. Alright, I'm out, though. I'm out. But yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, tuning into this video. Uh, we'll have another real talk coming at you soon. Um, and uh, stay timeless. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And uh, you can do that in the last video. Oh, yeah. Sit down, Ash. Oh, yeah. We'll put her name in the
bio. Um, and we're we gonna put our in the description, we're gonna put in the description, and we're gonna put XR, uh, whatever, like links to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, whatever. We'll put that in the description too. Yeah, watch it all in there. So, you guys can check that out. But yeah, like, please like and subscribe to follow me. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. I'm just saying, get that, get that Troy Stevens book coming out in 2025. <laughs>